Hey friends, Laura here from Get Organized HQ, and I am so excited to bring you the first of our ultimate guides. This is the ultimate guide to the best organizing products. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of my top 20 or so favorite organizing products, and we're just going to go through this really quickly. It's not going to be an in-depth review. And if you'd like some bonus products, be sure to check out the link below where we have a guide that has even more products for you. I'm starting here with these clip-on labels from Amazon. I'm going in order of least favorite to most favorite, but it should be noted that I absolutely love all these things and would totally buy them again. I love these labels. They just kind of clip on easily. They're a very thin material, so don't be expecting something thick and sturdy. However, they're super affordable, so I don't mind that they're fairly thin. You can technically write on them with dry erase, but I feel like it doesn't come off well, so I prefer to put vinyl on them instead. Next, these are the Spice Stars that I have used for years and love. I put labels on the lids and put them in a drawer. And then I love that I can get a measuring spoon down in there because the mouth is so wide and it also makes it very easy for dumping your spices in. Like look how easily I was able to dump that in. Next, we have these acrylic bins with the bins that nest inside and these are by the Home Edit from the Container Store. These are in my kids' craft room, but you can use them for so many things. And look at how much fits in just that one bin. And there's handles on the side, and there's different sizes. This is like everything we would need. So we just bring this out to the table, and we've got all of our essentials. And then that other one has like colored pom poms and craft sticks. This is a stackable jewelry organizer from the container store that's the top one that has a snap on it so like no dust or anything can get in it and they're felt lined they're very good quality and that's the bottom one that's just like an open tray mine's a little bit messy and then this is my favorite tray with all the compartments for earrings and you can buy as many different trays as you want so it's like really configurable and it can get as tall as you want and then you just stack it up these are canvas bins that are cube size and fit in those cube storage perfectly, which I love. You're not wasting any space and my kids can just throw their toys in. Next, we have a Leotorp shelf. I know it sounds strange to have a shelf in here, but this is not only beautiful, but perfect for organizing because the shelves are 15 inches inches deep so things don't hang off the edge. Next we have these acrylics from Amazon, super affordable, which I love. So you can get a lot of them. They nest really nicely so you can pull them down without one sliding off. And then you'll see how once I place it on there and then I kind of tilt it, it's not going anywhere. So I love that nesting feature. And you can see here that we've stored like our vitamins and medicines in here. Next up, we have these rolling carts, super popular. The one on the left is from Amazon and the gray one on the right is from the container store. I have a slight preference for the container store one just because of the shape. It's a little bit more square and less rounded. So I feel like I can fit more in. Here's just another view of how I put multi-purpose bins in the top and photo box is in the top of the other one. These are the Like It Cubes from the Container Store. I love that they are a perfect cube so you're not losing any space. They nest and stack very nicely. And those are dividers that you can get to go in them. And I also love how the top one can kind of glide along. And here it is in clear as well in my closet. And then this is the ColourPop Dymo Label Maker. I just love this very simple label maker. I typed it in, I hit print, you'll see it coming out there, and then it's got a built-in little snipper tool, so I just cut that right off. Then it's so easy to remove the backing because it's split down the middle, so there's no struggling with that. And then I'm just placing it on here. There's all different colors of tape here. I'm using clear with black writing. And then I want to show you how easy it is to change out the cartridge to another color. So I just lift it out. I'm placing the next cartridge in. I just change these out like all the time. It's so easy. That one's a purple one. So here it is. I use some silver and purple on these to label them. Next up, we have these canvas bins that I really love. These are in my closet. Perfect size. Those are holding some odds and ends accessories. These are holding the four by six photo boxes, which are coming up later as a favorite of mine. They fit the photo boxes so nicely, almost like they're made for it. And these are little bead boxes that I absolutely look like they are made to fit it, which I love. And they just look nice. Here it is in my kid's craft room. And it just 
fits those photo boxes so perfectly. I love these plastic Y weave bins from Target. I have these here in my son's closet. You'll see I have them labeled. It's super easy to just pull things out. It's also easy for him to toss things in. So I also use these in my linen closet area and I put wash rags on them. It just keeps everything corralled and you don't even have to fold. Next, we have these bamboo organizers from Amazon. I love these. They look like they were made to fit this drawer. They really weren't necessarily. So these are the shallow ones. You'll see how they line up in size. And then here in this next drawer, I have the deep one. So they're about twice as deep as those shallow ones for deeper drawers, which is nice. I think it's sometimes hard to find organizers for deep drawers. And then here I have more of the deep ones. And like I said, it looks like it was made to fit. And look how big that one is. You can really fit a lot in there. Sometimes I think it's tricky to find those big organizers. Now for the shallow ones, they nest inside each other. Like you see, there's a groove there and they're not going anywhere. So you could stack them if you wanted to. The deep ones do not do that. No ledge. And if you shake them, they will move. Next, we have these plastic envelopes. I just love these. I use them for like everything. These are organizing some of my craft items. You'll see I have little labels on them. I kind of filed them and put them in a large multi-purpose bin. It snaps so it stays very secure. It's not going to go anywhere. You can just toss it in a bag. I keep like coloring sheets, all sorts of things in these plastic envelopes. Here it is with little labels sticking out. It's my editing self popping in to say as I'm working on this video, I realize I probably said I love this or I love that quite a few times. So I'm sorry, but I really do love these items. So that's why. After years of searching, I have finally found what I think are the ideal acrylic or plastic drawer organizers for shallow drawers. I love how interchangeable and configurable all the sizes are. I also love that you can buy sizes individually so you don't just get kits and get a bunch of sizes that you don't need. And I'm showing what's on the bottom here. It's just a very simple basic plastic and these are also pretty affordable and they're great for the kitchen as well. Any drawer really could benefit from these. These are the large canvas bins with rope handles from Amazon. They hold quite a bit and these are here in our basement storage room. I love these velvet slimline hangers from Amazon. Look at how nice the closet looks when all the hangers are matching. That's the number one thing you can do to transform your closet and they're very slim so you can fit a lot on them. I They're excellent quality. I've had them for many years and I also have some the kids version for my kids rooms. And then here is the divided Lazy Susan from the container store. It's clear, it has five compartments. You can stare so much in here. This is my nail polish that I use when I'm in my office. These are all kinds of extra cords and adapters. And this was a game changer for my cords. I can just grab exactly what I need. It's also great in the kitchen. I have flavorings in here, molasses, some things like that. And you can just wheel it around and see what you need under the kitchen sink. It's perfect there as well. And then these are the hour bins from the container store. They have almost any size imaginable, which is one of the things that I love about them. So you can make your space look cohesive, even when you need a lot of different sizes. They're a pretty good quality. I've had a lot of these for many years. I'm showing them here in our main closet that's really large, so we have a lot of them, and you'll notice that many of them are empty just because we don't need that storage space. The lids attach securely and lift off. They also stack nicely, so they're not gonna go anywhere. There's a little ridge for them to stack. What I don't love, as you'll see, they're all different heights. That always bothers me. The shoe size is stacking on top of that size nicely, but it's not stacking on top of that size. So I just feel like the stackability and the heights could be better. And here they are in our other closet in our last house. These are the Cuggis bins from Ikea, and I'm going to share a dupe of these in a minute. And I just love the bright white, how the labels show up. The lids simply lift off. And that's what it looks like inside. They nest super nicely. And so here I've got them out so you can really see the different sizes that I use. They're truly modular. Like one of them, the shallow ones are half the height of the deep ones. Uh, they won't go anywhere when you tilt them. These are actually the Bed Bath & Beyond dupes on the left. They're not the same ones, but they look exactly the same and they're interchangeable. Same nice lip, same nesting, same height. They do have a cutout 
hole slash handle in the back, which is nice. Ikea doesn't have that, but either way, it's not a big deal to me personally. And they also have the deep version like the Ikea Cuggis does. And they are truly interchangeable. So like literally I could mix and match. And the only difference if I lift them up is you can see that the Bed Bath & Beyond one is slightly more square shaped and the Ikea one is slightly more rounded, but really you can totally use these interchangeably. Here I have it with just some paste packets in my closet and here you'll see it in my office, just storing various things. And I just love how nicely the vinyl labels show on here. We are at my second favorite item, which is photo boxes. These are the four by six. These sit right next to my desk and have little essentials. These ones have post-it notes. They fit pins, paper clips, rubber bands, index cards, just any of those office essentials really nicely. Here they are in my kids' craft area. These are the five by seven size. So they'll fit obviously larger things in the four by six. They have two latches because they are bigger and these are flashcards that my daughter is working on learning some letter combinations. And then these are the four by sixes that fit nicely in those canvas bins and just such a variety of things fit well. So anytime you have little things, it's so perfect for that. And you can just pull it out. These are little learning blocks that go with the math learning for my kids, something you might not think of. And then they're perfect for crayons. We throw them in totes, church bags, things like that. This is a greeting card project that Tasha from our team worked on. I'll link to that video, but the photo boxes were perfect for this project. We have made it to my very favorite item, the multi-purpose bins from the container store. Here we are in my kids' craft closet where I'm using them. They come in four different sizes actually, small, medium, large, and extra large. Here they are in my pantry. We're holding like some more stuff in that one. You can see what the pantry looks like as a whole. It's nice and uniform. This was them in my pantry in my old house. Here they are in my office holding rolls of vinyl. You can just see how versatile they are. I've used them in the car, the garage. Here they are in Another part of my office holding all sorts of like notebooks and office supplies. Those have all sorts of sticker labels in the bin and they have handles so you can easily get them out. That's the extra large size. And here they are again in my closet holding some wood cutouts that are ready to be chalked on. Those are holding some chalk transfers in that skinny one. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my top organizing products. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorites are and don't forget, click the link below to get the guide that has even more of my favorites.